Okay, hey guys, it's Jan, and sorry I couldn't do this. is a bit of a water cooling guide without like the water cooling part guide. So, we're doing a bit of a bleed guide video, so we're gonna try bleeding out the air bubbles in here. That's why you can hear the pump ramping so loud. Um, and that's that. So, remember, to fill up your loop, you have you should have something like a fill pour, and you should have used a res if you're doing it the first time. Is that leaking on the bottom? Or is that just from before? Okay, so for this part, um, we're bleeding out our bubbles. So you can see that the res was a little bit higher when we started the video, and now it's getting lower. That's because it's filling up the top with air, and that's kind of the point of bleeding air bubbles. Um, so the Swift Tech uh, MC Res is kind of designed so the inlet has this little slant on the plastic thing, so all the water forces down there, air goes up, and then the water goes down, or just recycles around and down through the pump. The reason the pump's so loud is because there's air bubbles, and air bubbles are bad because they're, they're bad. They ruin performance, and yeah. So kind of what you want to do, make sure you fill up your uh, loop with something like a funnel, um, roughly something like this, where like, you know, your funnel is uh, connected to some sort of barb at the end so that you can fill it easier, and it's, it's great. And we'll do, we have an unboxing video coming up with that, and it's going to be great and excellent. What? Yeah, that's great for refills also. Um, so we have... Uh, Make sure you have like paper towels, and make sure you're not running your uh, loop with the motherboard, because if it leaks, you're screwed, essentially, for lack of a better term. Um, so we have some paper towels over here, next to the rad, and whatnot. It takes about 20 to 30 minutes to bleed out your entire loop, so be patient. Water cooling is all about patience. We've had plenty of patience trying to mount things, and it's great. Um, I'm just doing commentary while I'm waiting for the water to bleed out, so I'm just gonna let this run for a bit, let the water bleed, uh, let the air bubbles bleed out, and then we'll be back. Okay, so the pump is still running, you can still see the water flowing, and you can see that after maybe 10 minutes of bleeding, we can have like another half a res worth full of water. Not like it really matters, but yeah. There's still some minor bubbles randomly floating around, but you get what you pay for. Well, you get a lot to pay for, actually. Um, so, uh, what was I going to say? Yeah, if you have the speed control sensor on the back, or not sensor, the speed control dial on the back, um, switching it between, like, 4 and 2 is, like, an ideal situation because you can, when you have it run faster, you can get the bubbles to go through, and when they're, like, close to around maybe your tube that goes into your res, running about 2, it'll take the bubbles slowly so they don't get pulled into the pump just as fast and it's easier for it to bleed out, so switching your control between higher and lower ones or help a lot. Um, and that's that, so we can fill it up with our awesome invention here. You can buy it in stores, theoretically, or build it yourself, and that's that. So um, I think that's it for this video. Thanks for watching, be sure to subscribe, and the like button, I don't know, YouTube doesn't have to keep the same thing, so I'm not going to say it anymore. But um, be sure to subscribe and like the video. Any questions, comments, concerns can go down below, there. And um, I'll be sure to reply as quickly as possible. Well, once again, thanks for watching.